Uh, my name is Danny Costa. I'm a managing partner and franchisee of MDM Management Group. We own and operate 55 Dunkin' Donut locations in the states of Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and Maine. We started working with analytics probably about six or seven years ago. Uh, they were referred to us through our CPA at the time and um, as, as a company that could help us with our efficiency uh, in our data and, and help us get uh, a, a handle on some of the metrics that drive our business. When we brought analytics in, one of our main issues, one of our major issues was we had data and uh, numbers that were crucial to our business coming in from a lot of different areas. Um, we had sales coming in from our POS system, we had our food costs coming in from our distribution centers, and then we had our payroll coming from our payroll company, and so we had all this data kind of funneling in, and we had um, our administrative offices, so we had someone in our office kind of compiling that data and then sending that out to our stores so that they could have their numbers to be able to um, run their budgets and things like that. And so one of the things as we started to grow and then we went to multiple states was it became harder and harder and took longer to be able to compile all that data and put it in a usable format so our managers could do something with it. And so we kind of hit a point where we couldn't grow anymore without having a solution to our, to our problem. Um, that's where analytics came in. And the first time I sat down with them, we kind of looked at our entire network and it seemed like uh, it was going to be an impossibility to get it done. And they always had a lot of confidence that they could get it done and, and um, they were able to. And so we're very, very grateful for that. They took um, all of the, uh, the several logins and, and where we went to go get our data, and they're doing that on the back end now. And so they're going in every week, pulling that data, and then compiling a easy to use uh, portal for us that we look at consistently, whether you're in a store in Maine or a location in Pennsylvania, you can pull it up, it's at the touch of a button, and you can have all that data for the quarter, for the year, for the week, for the day, and so it really allows us to have it in a safe and secure place and also have it in one place so we know exactly where to go and everyone in the company knows where to go to get that data. And that gets pulled from a lot of different areas uh, within our business. Um, and you know, so our sales come from our, our POS systems and our, and our registers and the, the food and the payroll come from their respective systems and that gets all pulled into our portal. One of the ways that the portal helps our store managers is it takes their time, it makes their time more efficient. Um, so they're not spent chasing down their numbers every week. It basically gets sent to them on Tuesday morning. They have all the information that they need from the week previous. So then they can go and have conversations. And that's really what our business, so we try to have a lot of time to have those conversations with, with their employees and their staff and ask questions around what they could do better. And so it's really freed up a lot of their time so that so they can go and have the conversations and really work on what drives our business every day. On the administrative side, the portal has really helped us at the office level. And so all of the data, we run everything through our central office. So from all the stores kind of funnels into our, our administrative side in our main office and then that gets pushed out to the, to the locations. At that, at that office, we've probably saved about 1,500 hours a year just from using the portal to aggregate that information for us. And it comes out a lot more timely, it comes out accurate, and it's usable as soon as it, it gets into the manager's hands. The one thing analytics does better than almost anybody I've seen with IT is they listen. They come in and they listen to what our problems are. They want to understand that thoroughly before they start just saying, hey, here's something we have off the shelf. Um, they really take the time to understand what are the main things that we want? And then really even why do we want them? And is, have we looked at different ways to get that or, or um, you know, they're business people. And I think that that really helps them understand what we're looking for. So once they, once they establish what we're looking for, then they offer different ways to get there. I think that's the other thing that I really admire about working with analytics. It's not a one-size-fits-all, here's what we have, use it and make your system fit within this. It's more of we could go this way or we could go that way depending on what you want and what you want it to look like 
And that freedom, that you know, openness to be able to do different things has been a huge differentiator from anyone I've seen on the marketplace. I've brought them problems where I thought they'd never have a solution for it. And you know, it may have taken a little while and a little tweaking, but at the end of the day, they come up with a solution for it. And I think that's their Satish's calmness and his, his company is very, very uh, efficient, very competent. All of his people that I've dealt with are very professional. They know their stuff. They don't overpromise, but they definitely overdeliver. So.